You crazy lady. Objection! Witness, what's the meaning of this? Why is this the first time I've heard of this evidence? Simple. As I've already said, I don't trust you with evidence, Mr. Erdwood. That's why I took the liberty of investigating this myself. And you had blood tests performed. Didn't I mention? I have three boyfriends in forensics. <coughs> in any case, Your Honor, I can't accept this as evidence. What? You should know the two rules of evidence law, Mr. Stop. Rule one: No evidence shall be shown without approval of the, the police department. In other words, this should be really good evidence, at least for the time being. Is that right, Mr. Wright? It seems so. That would sure is accelerate. Not so fast, Mr. Edward. Don't forget, I used to be a detective. As I mentioned previously, this shoe has already been tested by a number of her by a member of the forensics department. As you can see, it was approved by the police department as of today. Even the general public can produce official evidence, Mr. Edward. <laughs> I feel sorry for you! <laughs> Why are you asking me? It seems so. Edward is looking pretty solid. Could at least study some evidence are really- Why are you asking me? Hello everyone, this is NatNap signing back in again and welcome back to Phoenix Ride. We were still at that crazy lady. I'll squish her later. But I think she I think she's not mistaken if she saw a red muffler. <coughs> After this murder, the suspect attempted to run behind a partition and puffed her side. So where's this partition on the floor plans? I'm sure she means this wall next to the car. That's right. There's a wall there, about six feet high. How my face? What's wrong with my face? Oh no. There's obviously trying to hide myself. <clears throat> Quite natural thing for a criminal to do. And what did you do then? I quickly caught her, explained her rights to her, and arrested her on the spot. That was great. Did your lunch late? Quickly. Very close to the suspect. As I just said, I was only 30 feet away from her the whole time. Maybe I should press her or better details. Yes, please press her. But there's a fence right there. I like to see this on the far plan just to be safe. <clears throat> the lunch land lunch land car was she was a visitor, thus she was parked in Block B. So we witnessed the murder from here. That would make it about 30 feet from the car, yes? Is that correct, Mr. Park? Mr. Star? Yes, that's right. But there was a chain link fence in front of me. I went over it, of course. Amazing! Coffer Queen, lunch lady athlete, indeed. <laughs> it would have taken her a little time to climb over the fence. So she couldn't have gotten any to my sister that fast. <clears throat> yeah, the fence was about nine feet high too. How come Miss Sky didn't get away? When I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. <clears throat> she mentioned the muffler. What exactly did she say? If I remembered exactly, I would have told you in my testimony. Cheeky. Apparently, all I heard her was the word muff. That's it, that one word. So, what do we heard was the suspect talking to some, someone else? Yes, the chief prosecutor was talking on her phone. Phone? Oh, you mean the cell phone? Discovered at the crime scene? Yes, ultimately. Ultimately? My memory. It's like a salmon heading up Shimizu. You crazy lady. No, 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 no. The court doesn't see. The 
Luigi Prosecutor first attempted to use the phone hanging on the wall. On the wall? That's right. Near the car, there was an emergency telephone. Apparently, it was out of order. So, she had to use her cell phone. Indeed, the emergency phone was out of order that day. Good witness, witnessing, witness. Good witnessing. Whatever happened to good testifying? <laughs> you should, of course, add this to your testimony. The things I do to please this book with the hands of all. I'm never the vagina. She gave up trying to use the phone on the wall and just used her cell phone. Do you think you could restate your testimony for the court? Aha! I'm going to ask the same thing. I'll only say this one time, so listen close, rookies. <clears throat> the chief prosecutor stabbed the victim and ran behind the partition. And she picked up the emergency phone on the wall, but it was out of order. So she pulled her own cell phone out of her own pocket. How do you know that? There's a wall there. During the time you climb over the chain link and you slap it out of her hand. And when I boldly grabbed her arm. What the heck is this? That's scary. The chief prosecutor hung up her phone. And you saw her doing this. What is it, what is it Mr. Wright? Let's do the last one too. For the sake of the audience, she may to escape. Can you be more specific? She pressed aside my hand and ran. That is a terrible sign. See, like a dollop of a lard on the plate of boy grass. Oh? She even cooked or kicked over an old German. Uh, an old drum. How strong is her shoes? There is an old drum lying at the scene of the crime. But it's strange. Hmm? What's that? If she wanted to escape, why didn't she run the other way? The other way? <clears throat> ah, the car entrance. That's right. <clears throat> it doesn't make any sense that she would run from behind the partition of the oil drums. Exit. More mysteries. I wish we could solve a few before finding more of them. <clears throat> so this guy is trying to run. Sorry, my sister is so suspicious, Mr. Wright. That's as sorry as I am. She didn't do it. You have to believe me. <clears throat> Where's that? Yes, how could you see that? Where are you? Where is the map? Objection! <clears throat> I have to conclude that you have a personal grudge against Miss Lana Sky. The witness is a former detective. Her testimony is unmarried by personal bias. Well, who would have thought you would be my knight in shining armor, prosecutor? You who, together with the chief prosecutor, kicked me out two years ago. Well, Miss Star, this is a fatal contradiction with your testimony. How do you explain this? Hmm, I don't know what you're talking about. You mess with me, and I'll make you cough it all up. Ahem. <clears throat> Look at the floor plans. They said you witnessed the crime from this point. However, if that's this, if that's true, you couldn't possibly have seen Miss Sky making that phone call. I believe you see what I'm getting at. That emergency phone was on the back side of this partition. And indeed, you were in block B. You couldn't have seen it. Ah! Oh, sorry, my screaming is so terrible. <clears throat> order, order, what is the meaning of this? <clears throat> it's simple, your honor. He's not coughing up lunch, he's coughing up lies. <clears throat> That's quite a claim, Mr. Wright. Perhaps you allow me you will allow me to question exactly what lie this witness has told the court. Oh, you don't know what lie? You don't know what lie? Here's where the counter attack begins. I can't afford to get this wrong. She lied about where she saw it. 
she tried to use the emergency one, but it was out of order. <clears throat> what is this sign? What is it? What is significant about this fact? Nothing. It would be pointless for her to lie about it. Pointless to lie? I see. The weakness did actually see this guy using the emergency telephone. In other words, the star witnessed the crime from a different location. A different location? Now that's a pointless lie if I ever heard one. Before you call my lie pointless, at least tell me. Let me tell it. Let me ask a question to our clever wordsmith, Mr. Wright. <laughs> wordsmith. Just where was the witness when she saw the crime? All the testimony we've heard until now points in one direction. Place where... Where? The place from where Miss Star witnessed the crime was... There. Right there. Ouch. But you cannot... Never mind. <clears throat> this is the only place where she could have been. The security guard room? Indeed, the security room in the under parking lot where the party play play play. The room in the underground parking lot is well positioned. It's built on the second level so you can see the entire lot. Hmm. She would have been able to see the emergency phone from there. But why there? There are so many other places where she could have seen the phone. No. Not in this case, Your Honor. The witness not being part of the prosecutor's office couldn't park in A block. The only place where she could have seen a crime in the back partition is here. I remember in your testimony you said you brought the lunch to your boyfriend in the security guard room, yes? Well, Miss Star? How many years have I been getting the better of men? I think that the tables have could have been turned. Today, a man has got the better of Angel Star. Nice. Order, order, witness. Where have you done? You used to be a detective. You should know better. I'm not turning back. The guilty will be punished. And I'll do what I must to make sure justice prevails. The guilty. Is she talking about this guy? Oh, Mr. Wright, doesn't this strike you as odd? Why did Miss Star lie? It doesn't make sense. Huh? She could have just said she saw the crime from the security guard. It couldn't change. It wouldn't change anything. Exactly. This photograph tells all. Because the defendant must have the victim. The truth still stands. Objection! Ah, darn ding it ding it. Apparently, that was my mom. <laughs> it still stands. I disagree, Mr. Edward. What? If the witness is found to be lying, they are guilty of perju perjury. She knows this. She wouldn't risk that without a good reason. So, tell us what her reason was, Mr. Wright. Huh? Me? Who else? Mr. Wright, let's review what we know. Oh god, we screwed up. We screwed up. This star witnessed the crime from the security guard station. But she lied and said she saw it from Block B. And where the hell did she get the photo? There must be a vital difference. But what? What would change? Um, distance to the crime. It changes the distance between her and the crime scene. Objection! My condolence, Mr. Wright. But one look at the floor plans and it's quite clear. The distance between the scene of the crime and the guard is station is 30 feet. I don't see how that would change what she could see. Objection! What she saw is not in the question here. What matters is the time it will take for her to reach the scene of the crime. What? <laughs> yeah. This star, you read this the crime scene from this the crime scene. You read this the crime from the security guard station. <coughs> now how long did it take you to go from there to the scene of the crime where you're arrested in the sky? Well miss well witness? You witness. You ordered the squid wheels, right? The 
why my logic has gone from low to the down. <laughs> I was bringing a pea. I was bringing a Peter butter and jam jelly sat lunch with fresh boysenberry jam to my room. Boysenberry. What, what? He wasn't in the station, so I waited. I witnessed a crime from the glass wall station. If I knew that, there's no good. Before I knew what I was doing, I found myself running towards the sea. But the door was locked. I couldn't open it. Oh, we run the other way. That's why I had to go through the visitor's parking lot in Block B. That's quite a detour. It probably took me at least five minutes to get to the scene of the crime. For five minutes? With your heels? Oh my god. This changes things considerably. But it was that woman over there in the defendant chair who stabbed him. I know it. I have the photographic evidence. I swear. I swear on my finest plastic spork. What spork? I have a point. Yeah, you have a point. And the spork is a wonderful invention. What the hell is a spork? Spoon and fork? Oh my god, that's a bad great name. Would you like another caviar lunch? Absolutely. Oh my god, she just praised him with lunch. Uh oh. That's alright. I have to do something. I'm trying. Do I have any evidence to stop this? Um, I just raised because I don't want to die. Objection! Five minutes between the witness of the murder and the arrest. Think about it. You could make peste in that amount of time if you liked it all. Huh? If you like it all al dante. You got lunch wrenches that pasta in the knot. Thai pasta in the knot. <laughs> A five minute blank. Isn't that strange? Strange? If you were a criminal, what would you do with 5 minutes, your honor? Well, um, I guess I'd flee the scene. Hey! Don't get the wrong idea. I didn't kill anyone. <laughs> but you have the instincts of a killer. You would run. But this time was different. This guy dolled at the scene of the crime. She even had her picture taken. No true criminal would act this way. It's in it's inconceivable. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. Well then, it seems we've come to the end of the testimony. Are you sure? That? She has a grudge against the defendant, and there is a blank in her destiny. Standard is the next witness. What? Unfortunately, I appear to have overestimated this business on account of her professional history. We did it! We screwed that can. We screwed that can shut, Mr. Hall. That was too close. I am afraid that the cough up queen has been thrown, dethroned. And with that, court is adjourned. Why you close the case on me so quickly? See? Now she's pissed. Mr. Edward, you ordered the squid reels, right? That's the one she tried to foist off of me. <clears throat> I prefer not to take the defense's team leftovers. Anything else to say? <laughs> I might be able to save you. I have decisive evidence. What was that? Is this another one of her trick lunchboxes? I apologies, but we have no further questions to ask of you, Miss Carr. Ah. Oh my god, is this your jumbo lunchbox? Woohoo, a triple D. <laughs> Out of the bed. Oh my god, to the <laughs> Food. One of the. One uh, out of difference in the witness determination. Derm determination. I love one. <laughs> Let's hear about this decisive evidence. Like the lunch land moto says, you won't be disappointed. The way the man's heart is this through his stomach. What's she gonna pull out of her lunchbox this time? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man. I should have mentioned those five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene. 
And now, to the matter of the victim's shoe. Did I not bring this up? Two types of blood were found on the shoe. One, of course, the victim's. The other was the defendant, Miss Lana Skye's The shoe proves it. It's flawless, decisive evidence. Evidence. Nervous. What? There was a blood van on the shoe? In the lunchbox. Try it on time for all your lunch and decisive evidence needs. You crazy lady. Objection! Witness, what's the meaning of this? Why is this the first time I've heard of this evidence? Simple. As I've already said, I don't trust you with evidence, Mr. Erdworth. That's why I took the liberty of investigating this myself. And you had blood tests performed. Didn't I mention? I have three boyfriends in forensics. <coughs> in any case, Your Honor, I can't accept this as evidence. What? You should know the two rules of evidence law, Mr. Stop. Rule one: No evidence shall be shown without approval of the, the police department. In other words, this should be really good evidence, at least for the time being. Is that right, Mr. Wright? It seems so. Let me sure it's a little Not so fast, Mr. Edward. Don't forget, I used to be a detective. As I mentioned previously, this shoe has already been tested by a number of her by a member of the forensics department. As you can see, it was approved by the police department as of today. Even the general public can produce official evidence, Mr. Edward. <laughs> I'm sorry for you! <laughs> Why are you asking me? It seems so. Edward is looking pretty solid. Could at least study some evidence are really Why are you asking me? The prosecution's complaints notwithstanding. <laughs> it appears that this evidence satisfies the first rule of evidence law. Well it seems you have yet another count court against you count against you anything to ensure that the guilty are properly judged. Okay. You're crazy. Well well, you may cross examine. Oh my god. Oh my god! I should have mentioned this when I made it to the house and don't forget the crime scene. Oh Why did you lie about those five minutes? I guess you could say I just wanted people to look at the results. The results? How many times do I have to say this? I saw the chief prosecutor stab the victim before my very own eyes. Compared to that, a five minute blank means nothing. <coughs> Why didn't you just tell the truth? Don't make me laugh. We're dealing with the most untrusty word, unworthy, untrustworthy of the wild known as prosecutor. Falsified evidence, arranged testimonies, erasing and manipulating evidence. When you fight monsters, you need to use every trick in the book. Oh my god, I love her lines! Why can't I be a villain for once? <laughs> suspect is admitting she did it. False testimony is the most despicable crime of all. Stop. Let's just get this over with. <clears throat> Ouch. And now to the matter of the victim's shoe. Did I not bring this up? I did not bring any shit up. And you found this shoe at the scene of the crime. I detained the chief prosecutor and notified the... What detained? And notified the police department. Myself useful while I was working for the police. We're always waiting for the duties to learn. Can't reach. So, I can ill train put the stuff off of the ship. I'm so great, someone erased erase the chief prosecutor's crime. This shoe was my secret weapon, if that should happen. See this fashionable basket I have here? It carries more than lunch boxes, gentlemen. It carries broken hearts, too, I think. I'm happy for you and your lunch bag. In that case, you will remove valuable evidence from the crime scene. Now tell us what you did next. Ouch! Ouch! Sorry. Two types of blood were found in the shoe. One was, of course, the victims. So we brought it to the forensics department. If you're going to submit something as evidence in court, you need it approved. To do that, evidence must be analyzed by the forensics department. Right. She ran away with her little tube because she was to be a detective. The shoe 
does appear to have one thing to Makes sense, although a man was stabbed here. And that blood belongs to the victim, Detective Goodman. As I said, there were two types of blood found on the shoe. I can't say that for sure the blood belonged to the victim with the blood test. Claim to know something about blood tests for me. Well, speak up! Ah, uh, well. Blood comes in four types A, B, O, and A, B. However, I can't tell from a blood test whether a murder was performed in cold blood. Ouch. You sound dumb for a moment. That's just a figure of speech, right? <laughs> Actually, if you combine all various blood types, there are a million blood types. It's practically impossible to narrow a blood sample down to one person. Where is I here? Millions of bloods! Many types. If I had a little more time, I would have gotten a DNA test for that. But they said they're very well done to anyone but this line of sky. Hmm. So, suspect's blood was found on the victim's shoes. Blood types are directly to Brady was going to say. The shoe proves it. This cause is decisive evidence. Oh, yeah. Time to go through without a fight. Yeah. Under the pepper fish kids. Yeah! Something like. Something like a hot sorry. Something like a fire. Seasoned enough hot water to make a whole batch of soup. Is it right? Do you or do you not have a problem with the shoe? There's a problem with the shoe. This is good. What's wrong with the victim's shoe? Oh, there's a problem, alright. If I'm not imagining things, I'd say there's one critical problem with this evidence. A clear contradiction. That gleam in your eyes. You're still young, rookie. I'd give you a peppered fish cut now. But you couldn't take the heat, could ya? Let's hear what Mr. Wright has to say. What is contradictory about this victim shoot? Show the problem with this evidence. Please. <clears throat> oh my god. It's a soul. Ah, my nose. I wonder if you notice. There's blood on the bottom of the shoe. Don't mess with me, rookie. Or it'll be your blood on the bottom of my shoe. Hmm. Indeed, there is some quite a bit of blood on the bottom of the shoe. Makes sense. The victim, the victim, the victim, the victim was stabbed with a knife. What could possibly be the predictor with the blood on the bottom of the shoe? Try for me. Where are you? No blood on floor. The problem lies on the footprint in the footprint. Oh, the footprint. Footprint. Note that the bottom of the shoe is covered in blood. Then, isn't it strange? Why there there any bloody footprints on the screen of the crime? Hey! As you can see, there are no traces of any such footprints in the scene of the crime. You forgot there's a drum. Drum full of water in there. I forgot that. Objection. Excuse me. The picture only shows part of the floor. There, there could have been bloody footprints. Objection. If there were bloody prints, they would have been found. We checked the scene and found nothing of the sort. Order, order, order! Wait, witness? A real witness? Huh? What? What are you doing, Mr. Wright? that the lack of a footprint is a contradiction, we then we have to ask why there wasn't a footprint. Oh, that's true. There has to be a reason why there wasn't a footprint. Think, Mr. Wright, think. Hey, I don't know why it's not there. I'm just, it's just, I'm just good at finding contradictions. What? That's the drum. I see. Now I get it. Get what? 
Our witness is more devious than I gave her credit for. We were hook ringed hook winked to the very end. But she slipped. There is one vital hint to the truth in her test. What are you talking about? Think back to when she told us about the apprehending uh, about apprehending the suspect. The chief prosecutor tried to resist but her ever so in vain. She knocked my hands aside and knocked me then kicked over an oil drop. Oh, she's agreeable, but then a predator is one of the bird woman. Rock. I thought that was a strange thing for a normally cool headed chief to do. No kidding. Now, witness, allow me to ask a very simple question. This oil drop, was it empty? Oh, that, hmm? I'm not sure I like your attitude, Mr. Edward. Well, apparently you're not the slowest conveyor belt in the lunchbox they do. Wait, well, wait, what? It's the old child, there the slow jump kicked over by the chief of the computer. What's brimming with water? Water? What does that mean? You forgot! No blood! Still don't get it, Mr. Right? You want to know the reason she knocked it over? The real reason? Aha! Uh -huh. You don't mean! Yes, the socks pick knocked over the oil drum for one reason, and the reason alone. There is the blood stain that would become evidence against her. Wag! But you could have done that like five minutes ago. That ties things up quite nicely. The blood stains left on the floor, which chip chew tied her quite clearly to the mirror. After the bleed was done, she knocked over the oil drum and raised the Telltale signs. That's a prosecutor's speciality. Erasing evidence. That reminds me. <coughs> this guy's right hand was hurt. Didn't she say she cut it herself when she stabbed him? So my sister's blood on the shoe. That's when that happened? Well, I see no reason to prolong his trial. No way. It's right. There's something. Please. What can I do? Your sister has confessed to the crime and uh, she tried to conceal it. But enough! There is no need for further debate. The verdict, Your Honor. Very well. Oh god. An angel star is on the prosecutor's side. Could have been lying about the water. This court finds the defendant, Miss Lana Sky. Hold it! Who did, who did that? Little girl, what did you just say? Huh? Me? Did you just say that I, Angel Star, was on the prosecution huh? prosecution side? Oh, <laughs> you're angry! Uh, well, yeah, you are. You're saying that my sister hid the evidence by erasing bloody footprints. Well. I thought you'd had your fill, but here you are, demanding a second helping. Ouch! An island drug's called evidence! Wait, goodness, don't tell me you have something else. Objection. You reached your verdict, your honor! Any further comments will be held in contempt of court. Your threats don't scare the cough of queen. Oh my god, you're scared. Look at this! A photograph? I had this just in case anyone had the gall to suggest that the white shoe didn't belong to the victim. Mm -hmm. As you know, for error in this evidence, Mr. Right, wait, look at this. The, look at the asphalt in this photo. I can't say the words anymore. Hey, it's clearly wet. Erasing the last trace of doubt from the court's mind. After the murder crime scene was washed with water. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I guess I I can help after all. It's not your fault. No, you could help. I knew I couldn't win the case from the beginning. And it seems this is what your sister wanted. It. Nope, you can win. There's a muffler in the foot thing. There's a muffler there. I'm sorry, Mia. Right. Wet or not? Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. What? Get yourself up, all the asphalt, take another good look. Don't give up. Not until DB3 the end. 
Why are you still talking to me from the dead? This is the last piece of evidence. Very well. This time I declared a victory for good. No, then! <laughs> <laughs> You're on our way. What is it with you people? Can I hand out my verdicts in peace anymore? <laughs> what are the other things? No, it can't. It'd be too late. <laughs> Look at this photograph. The one last one submitted. This trial isn't over until we give each piece of evidence proper consideration. So, right. So you're saying there's a problem with this latest piece of evidence? Yeah. Oh, take it later. <laughs> there's a problem. Right or wrong, I've gotta go ahead with this. I suppose since we've come this far and no one gives me a damn thing. No one gives me a damn thing with time to let me slam on my hammer. We should give every claim a fair shake. There you are, Mrs. Wright. Mrs. Wright. Show the court the problem in this world. Right there. Right there. Come on. The problem in this world, Dad, is here. What's this? There's something poking it out of the car's muffler. Wait just a moment. Hey, Honor. You just said muffler. However, I see no trace of a muffler or scarf in any kind of in this photograph. A muffler is also part of a car or motorcycle, Your Honor. Just think of it as the part of an exhaust system. Oh God, I feel sorry for him. He has to translate everything to this dumb judge. Just think of it as part of the exhaust system. A pipe. I see, and I see. What's that suspicious looking cloth sticking out of the muff- Car's muffler! Hmm, so what if there's something sticking out of the muffler? What does that have to do with this case? Nothing. Absolutely nothing! Objection. Sorry, Miss Star, but it's not going to be that easy. In fact, you've already told us why this is important to the case. He said as much- He said as much in your testimony. <clears throat> Let's hear what Mr. Wright has to say, That's why you think this piece of cloth the muffler is related to this case. A telephone. Take back! <clears throat> oh, she tried to call someone. Miss Star. We call your testimony from the court. For the court. Ah, yes. When I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. That's what had me confused in my earlier testimony. <clears throat> Ouch. Muffler. Arg! Yarg! You're not doing that pose anymore. Could it be that the muffler you heard mentioned was actually the exhaust pipe? It's so. That means this piece of evidence, this cloth is vital evidence. Ah! You got a very long one. I mean, what am I talking about? <laughs> Have to suspend the proceedings. Suspend? Oh, you want it already? I find myself wondering about that piece of cloth. If you leave any questions unanswered here, we do a disservice. If we have any questions, if we have any questions unanswered here, we do a disservice. So, the car at the crime scene, inspect it at once and bring me that clock. Vertigo wait until we after we've seen all the evidence. Read. We made it! Let me use for now. Looks like we made it! <clears throat> the court will adjourn for a 30 minute recess. It's lunchtime after all. He's still hungry! <laughs> oh my god. Honey! I like it. We will stop right here, folks. Thank you so much for watching. If you, if you enjoyed this video, just simply flick around over to the like button like a sorcerer. 
And until then, this is Netmar signing off.